Hello, in this video, you're going to look at updating the viewport on Resize. You might be listening to what I've just said and thinking, what the hell does that mean? Best of all, let's just show you the problem. And that's exactly what it is. It is a problem that we are trying to fix. So if I just go to our scene, we've got this nice cube that's rotating. It looks fine, scales, everything. And it's the same principle if there was an entire world there. But watch what happens if I were to resize the browser. The actual viewport, the content within our world does not adjust. It doesn't move, it doesn't resize, it doesn't do any of that stuff, which is obviously very, very bad. Let me show you another issue. So if I were to refresh it, so the actual initial browser size is, well, this size. Watch what happens when I resize it. We get white because it hasn't been, nothing's been rendered over here. To fix that, very simple. We've just got to detect when the viewport has been resized, aka your browser, and then just update the camera and the renderer and update the projection matrix. It's all simple stuff. So if you put this code after the renderer has been initialized and the document.body has been set, so what I want to do window dot add event listener and I'm going to put resize because that's the event that we're listening for when the resize event occurs we want to call a method or we want to run this method that we are coding right here and what we want to do is var width equals window dot inner width. I think you can guess what we're going to do next. Var height equals window dot inner height. Now renderer dot set size. width and not not window the width and the height there we go like so very similar to what we've done right here as an extra task what you could do is actually no that wouldn't work sorry just ignore me <laughs> I was gonna say you could abstract these values I'd actually you could do that you could abstract the declaration of the the width and the height variables outside and then just set those values so they can be used anywhere you want so that's an extra task for you to do now we're going to do camera dot aspect i'm going to update the aspect because as you can see i may not keep the aspect ratio when resizing and i may keep the aspect ratio when resizing so we've got to adjust for that again very simple you just do camera dot aspect equals width divide by height so that's how you calculate the aspect ratio and finally you do camera dot update projection matrix this is a method and this just updates well the projection matrix and finally we set a semicolon so put that save it if we go back refresh we've got our cube it's spinning so let's see what happens when we resize it as you can see, the actual contents of our scene are moving, and if we resize the height, it also resizes the contents. And as you can see, it's keeping the exact ratio. Our objects don't look distorted or squashed or stretched or anything like that. So in this video, we covered how to update the viewport on resize. Very simple, only a few lines of code, but something very crucial and something that really needed, needed to be covered earlier on in this series. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.